Shianagad. I am out here today. Um, it's a little bit rainy, but that's okay. And uh, here to celebrate one of my favorite trees today. It's our North Carolina State flower. And I'm sure you guys recognize this one. Ruff, 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 ruff. Yep, that's right. It's dogwood. Dogwood is a small tree common in woodlands throughout the range of the Cherokee and well beyond. In mid-spring, the mountains are dotted with the white blossoms. These familiar flowers are not single flowers. As you see when you take a closer look, there are several small flowers in a cluster at the center of four large white leaf-like bracts. These are the same four bracts that protect a flower bud through the fall and winter, opening up in the spring and expanding into these beautiful white petals. The smooth edged leaves with the distinctive curving veins are always easy to recognize in the summer and in the fall. They grow opposite each other on the twig. Even in winter, dogwood can easily be identified by its flower buds or the characteristic bark, like alligator hide. The red fruits in the fall are almost as easily recognized as the flowers, but will soon be eaten by the birds for winter food. Dogwood is important in Cherokee medicine. Teas of the stem bark, root bark, and flowers are drunk for many diseases. Root bark was used as a tonic for good health. To bathe in a tea of beaten bark helped to treat poisons of all kinds. Leaves of dogwood are commonly used to cleanse the skin after touching poison ivy. The leaves are crushed to release the sap from them, then rubbed onto the skin. The wood of dogwood is very hard and, after the Europeans' arrival, was used for making tools. Wedges made of dogwood were used to split logs 